McCain Vogel here with this week's Cover Crop Connection. And this week we are in beautiful Galena, Illinois. And uh, we got a chance to check out the first ever Souls of the Soil Conference. Uh, this is put on by the uh, Fields of Cincinnati. And we're actually going to toss it off to one of the presenters to talk a little bit about what's going on in the world of cover crops at the first annual Souls of the Soil Conference. What is the most dangerous phrase in farming? And I thought, I believe this is the most dangerous phrase in farming. We've always done it this way, right? Well, yeah, of course, we've always done it this way. It's always going to be the same year after year after year. No, it's not. So I want you to kind of have that background whenever I'm talking here. This mix is typically what we do for our summer uh, mix after we harvest the oats and the rye. And we roughly put in this mix. Now I have, you can see I have a question mark with the crimson clover because we plan ahead. And uh, if next year we plan putting corn in there, we put the clover in. If next year it's going to be in the soybeans, we take the clover out. And uh, so that's what we've been doing with that. We've experimented with this mix a little bit. I think one year we tried sun hemp that for whatever reason didn't work out. Uh, we've tried turnips. We've tried a lot of different things. So I'm not married to any of these, um, but nonetheless, uh, it's something we've been trying. Here's another video of, of walking right behind it. You'll see the clover and the rapeseed that's behind that. Um, and uh, so you can see, see a little bit of that in there. Now, Another thing you'll notice here is that this is the same field back in uh, when we're harvesting because I was harvesting and I thought I want to showcase that rye that is still doing that mulch, that, that wheat suppression that's down in there. And, uh, and that, I thought that was great to see that it was still doing that uh, late in the season like that. And from what I have observed, we talked about observations earlier today. and. Uh, an observation I made is that the only weeds that I see that are getting through that during the growing season, I've seen some dandelions, and that's about it. And uh, so I, I I tell a lot of people that I prefer dandelions over mare's tail and pigweed and all that fun stuff. Lots of great information this week at the Souls of the Soil Conference. Well, I got to go catch my zip line over my shoulder there, but that's all for this week's Cover Crop Connection. Until next time.